What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get your kids to finally call you back. Let me preface this by saying that I'm neither a parent nor a child, so my perspective on this app is that of a neutral third party. I say that because I know that the premise behind this app is a bit polarizing, depending on what generation you belong to. But if you're a parent that has trouble contacting your child when they're out and about, you might want to look into Ignore No More. It's an app created by a mom who is tired of her kids seemingly refusing to return her call. So Sharon Standiford put in a lot of research and worked with an experienced developer to create this app, which effectively locks your child's device until they contact you and ask for the unlock code. They can still call 911 and even a few other people that you select, but beyond that, they won't be able to use their phone without calling you back. The app is available for free on Google Play, and you'll need to install it on both the parent's phone and the child's phone. So let's start with setup from the parent's end. When you first launch Ignore No More, you'll be taken through a nice little setup guide. To begin, just tap Create Parent Account. This will be the central account for all of your family's devices, so be sure to enter a nice and secure password. And when you have all of this filled out, just tick I Agree, then press Sign Up. And I'll go ahead and do all that off screen. Okay, so on this next page, the app explains that you can use those same login credentials that you just created to log in as a parent from your spouse's device. Then, if you tap this screen, it will tell you that those same credentials will be used on your kid's device, but you'll get a chance to register them as a child. Tap the screen again, and it'll explain that you have to set up a group on your child's People app. This is a very important step, since this group will comprise the only numbers that your kid can dial when they're locked out, aside from 911. On the next screen, it explains that you'll need to add a lock screen widget to your child's device so that they can access this group of people. But I'll take you through all that here in a minute. After that, you're done with setup on your device, so now it's time to install the app on your kid's phone. And when you run this app over here for the first time, everything will look the same. But this time, rather than tapping Create Account, just log in with the same account credentials that you just created on your own phone. After that, you'll be asked to register this device as either a parent or a child. Since this is my hypothetical kid's phone, I'll go with child. From here, you can enter your child's name. This is how the devices attached to your account will be labeled when you go to lock one of them. So it's a lot more intuitive than, say, Device 1 and Device 2 or something like that. So after you hit Submit here, a window will pop up asking you to activate this app as the device administrator. This is how the app locks your child's device, so tap Activate here. After that, you're done with setting up the app, but there are a couple more steps that you'll need to take before you can give this phone back to your child. The first thing you'll need to do is create that emergency contact group. So head to the app drawer and open the People app. From here, tap the tab at the top right to go to Groups, then hit Add Group at the bottom of the screen. This group must be named INM in all caps so make sure that you enter that correctly. Then underneath that, use this second field to enter any names or numbers that you want your child to be able to call when they're locked out. As you type, contacts from this phone will be suggested, so tap the one that you want to select it. You can repeat this process with however many numbers that you want to add, but when you're finished, just tap Done. The next step is to add the lock screen widget. That's the only way that your child will be able to access this emergency contact group. This is where things get a bit technical though. As of version 4.4, Android no longer allows lock screen widgets by default, but you can still enable them. So if your child's phone was purchased within the last year, you'll probably have to add this extra step. Head to the phone's Settings, then scroll down and tap Security. From here, just tick the box next to Enable Widgets. If that option isn't in here, then you don't have to worry about this part. So now, just head to the lock screen. From here, swipe in from the left edge of the screen, then tap the plus button that appears. Scroll through this list until you find the entry for Ignore No More. Tap it, then the lock screen widget will be added, and you're done with setup. So let's try this thing out. Back on your own device, tap the Refresh button at the top of Ignore No More to load the new accounts that you've set up. You'll see your kid's name as an entry, so tap it, then you'll be asked to enter a four-digit PIN. This is the code that will unlock your child's device, and since only you know it, they'll have to call you if they want to use their phone. So if your kid's been ignoring you and you want to force them to contact you, tap Lock Phone. In a couple of seconds, you'll see that the child's phone turns off automatically. They are now locked out. When they go to unlock their device, they'll be asked to enter your PIN. The emergency call button at the bottom of the screen will allow them to call 911, but they can swipe over to the left and they'll be able to use your widget to call you or other emergency contacts. Once you've given them the PIN number, they can use it to unlock their device and everything will go back to normal. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy parenting.